Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating a diagonal stripes pattern in Photoshop. It's notoriously difficult to do, but I've got a really quick and very, very simple way of making sure that you get it right. I'm going to click Create New and we're going to start with a document that's an even number of pixels wide and tall. It's going to be square and I'm just going to make mine 40 pixels by 40 pixels. You will want to be working in pixels here so that you can be deadly accurate and you just want a very small document. I'll click Create. Now this is absolutely tiny so I'm going to zoom in so we can see it at a much larger size. Now we're going to create our stripe. I'm going to the line segment tool here, just this line tool, and I can set a weight for my line. Now if I use something like 20 pixels, given that my document is only 40 by 40, I'm going to have really thick lines in the sort of black color I'm going to be using and very narrow gaps which are white. So if you want it to be sort of about half and half, you want something like about 16 will probably be a better choice. Now it needs to be an even number, so you need to use 16, not 15, not 13. Absolutely has to be an even number. You want a new layer, so just click on the new layer icon. We're now going to draw from this bottom corner all the way up to the top. Now Provided you start at the bottom corner, hold the shift key so that you're going up in a perfectly perfect 45 degree angle. So once you get there, just let go. I'm going to duplicate this layer by just dragging it onto the new icon and then I'm going to do some quick mathematics and it's really simple math. Remember how big this document was, it was 40 by 40. Half of 40 is 20. We're going to use that value. Filter, Other, Offset. Here we'll type half the width and half the height of the document. The document is 40 by 40. We just enter 20 and 20 in here. That's all we have to do and click OK. Ultimately, this is what it's going to look like. This is going to be our gap. This is going to be our stripe. If you're happy with that, select everything. Select all, edit, define pattern. This will be stripe and click OK. And now you can test it in a new document. And it doesn't matter how big your new document is. That's any size you like. You'll choose Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. Click OK. And the last pattern you created, which is this stripe, is now automatically added to the document. Let's go back to our 40 pixel by 40 pixel document. Let's turn these stripes off. Let's add a new layer. If we want narrow black stripes and a wider distance, then all we're going to do is go back to our line tool. This time we're going to make the line weight much narrower. I'm going to use eight pixels. Again, I'm going to start here in the bottom corner, start drawing out my line, add the shift key to make sure it goes on a perfect 45 degree angle. Just going to deselect my selection here because that's left over from last time I used this. I'm going to drag this layer onto the new icon. So I have two layers that are identical. Filter, Other, Offset. Now the offset that we used last time, this 20 and 20 offset is just perfect for this one. You just need half the width and half the height of the document. Just click OK. Now we'll do Select All. And we're going to make a different pattern from this. Edit, Define Pattern. This is Thin Stripe. And click OK. Now let's go back to our Pattern Fill document where we're testing this out. I'm going to double click on this thumbnail. I'm going to drop the menu down here and select the last pattern because that's the pattern that I just created. This time we've got thinner stripes. You can create whatever size stripes you like, really thick ones with a very small gap in between or really thin ones with a really big gap in between. And you're just going to do it in this document. It's simplicity itself. It's guaranteed to work. It's foolproof. I think that you'll love it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, turn notifications on. We'll tell you when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.